Hey guys, Angelo here. Today we're going to talk about our sagas and a few little neat details about them. Um, let's take a look here at what we got. See, so yeah, we're really excited to get these things going. Um, if you were at Blade Show, you probably saw them or you might have seen them on social media out in the wild. Um, really, really uh, got these things dialed. And today we're going to talk about a few of the color choices uh, we're going to be doing, um, some finish options, some coating options in the future, uh, some things we're going to be experimenting with, and what the future looks for these. So right now I got a few in front of me right here. We've got a really cool two-tone. It's got pink on the uh, low spots. And then we did a nice bronze zirple. We also have raw with a nickel aluminum bronze slider. And then we have a pure raw one. We call these plain Janes. For all you pimpers and modifiers out there or somebody who just wants something super clean looking, kind of reminiscent of a, an old Porsche. Reminds me of those old silver Porsches. We'll have some videos on how to take apart the mechanism and uh, you know, to let you guys have fun with these. We got blue where we tumble out all the color from everywhere else. Gives a really neat contrast between the silver and the blue. And we've got the gold special. How neat is that? So to start, we're just doing two slider designs. We've got the cross hatch, looks like that. And then we've also got the twist or the helix. So we've got those two designs right now. We might experiment with a few others. And we're also doing different, uh, different finishes on the buttons. Right now we did a polished one for blade and for the first batch. And we're also doing some tumbled ones. And then we also have a machined, um, I don't have one here, but I have one in my own pocket. We got a machine design as well. Yeah, and we can go through the entire spectrum of colors with anodizing, as you guys know. Um, different variety, two tones, we could do multiple colors and experiment. Uh, but we also want to start doing a bit more PVD coatings like diamond like carbon. Um, we want to maybe experiment with some titanium aluminum nitride, titanium chromium nitride, all those fancy sorts of PVD coatings on the mechanisms, maybe on the bodies as well. So it should be a really rad uh, collection of combos and colors and finishes that we're going to be moving forward with. Uh, for now, this is what we want to work with. We're going to get these super dialed in and looking really awesome. And then we're going to move forward with, with some more stuff. We also hope to get some different materials in to try. Uh, right now we're trying nickel, aluminum, bronze on the sliders. It's working out great. It's a beautiful material. It is really nicely, turns into kind of a brownish, grayish, bronze color. And right now we're leaving them raw, we tumble some. And the reason we tumble is because after years of use, this is my pen, it's about a year old, we've I've put this thing through the ringer, it's been dropped, it's been thrown, it's been, you know, just trying to see how you can, if you can break it, uh, what any failure modes might be. Um, and it functions still like it's brand new. There's nothing wrong with this pen. Uh, it's been dropped countless times. You can see it's even dented a little bit on the tip there. Um, but the tumbling still looks beautiful like day one. Any scratches kind of blend into that and make it look beautiful. If we were to do this on a satin, like if we were to satin blast this, it would scratch immediately and it would start to look worn uh, within days. This way, it's a year old and it still looks pretty. Still my favorite little item on me. Here I just pulled these out of the tumbler so they still have a bit of uh, tumbling liquid on them, some burnishing compound. Uh, we're tumbling our threaded sleeve in this instance. We tumble our threaded sleeve and our button in order to give a little tumbled finish around there, which when they come together, it looks really cool, especially with some of the plain Jane ones. So it's just another option that we're gonna do. Um, the way we do that is you don't wanna tumble threads, right? That's gonna damage your threads. Um, you could damage your lead in, you could damage the, uh, your major diameters. There's you know, multiple ways to mess that up. So we use our sacrificial tube, put one on each end, goes like that, and we tumble it. And that ensures that the threads are protected and we're tumbling any areas that, that we need to tumble. These have already been uh, brush honed inside, so the RA inside is, is extremely uh, fine. It's about, I would estimate, between probably four to eight RA, maybe less. Um, and yeah, so that's how we tumble that. And then we take our button. We need to protect the surface here. It's very important where, where the balls are gonna roll on for the mechanism. If we tumble it, we're gonna to start to change our surface finish. So we have a nice, super polished finish right there. So I, I put a zip tie just over that. And then throughout the day, I will twist it a few times in order to make sure that this area here is being tumbled 
so that's not getting in the way. And then that gives a really neat combo where it looks like this. So when they come together, they give that nice stonewashed finish that we're kind of known for. Yeah, so these got to go back in. And we'll go throw these back in the tumbler. We'll leave them in there for about four hours, three to four hours total, and they'll be perfect. So a lot of work behind these guys. We uh, did a lot of engineering, a lot of tiny little tweaks and dialing everything in over the last year and uh, making sure our programs run right so that they're not, you know, we're not breaking tools or or making bad parts and here we are now we're ready to run on these we've got a really cool machine here now ready to you know make some of these mechanisms and uh yeah we're really excited about this hope you guys follow us along on this journey all right guys thanks for watching that was our video on some of the finishes and options we're going to be doing on these on these saga pens if you guys want to get more involved and you want to hear more about pvd coatings and you can get a bit more technical stay tuned you can watch that after this video I'm gonna have to go call him Falkor down right now. Eric's in a meeting. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, PVD coating is, stands for physical vapor disposition. There's also chemical vapor disposition. PVD coating is it's different methodologies essentially between DLC and the regular PVD coatings like titanium aluminum nitride or titanium nitride in that diamond-like carbon is an amorphous layer that we're depositing on is essentially a tribological structure like a diamond and it creates an extremely hard, very wear resistant and very slick surface. It's about the friction coefficient of Teflon and that provides you that beautiful black color. The black actually comes usually from putting a contaminant in the gas like graphite is used very often in most instances whereas with typical uh, PVD coatings like say titanium nitride like you would see the gold on say saline arms Saline Arms has their bolts and they, you know, make them gold and it's very pretty and everybody likes that, that's titanium nitride. What they're doing is they have a chamber that they're filling with nitrogen and they have a target that's made out of titanium, like almost pure titanium, it's like a sponge. And they take that and they have a, well, there's, there's this is really involved. There's cathodic arc disposition, there's sputtering disposition. It gets pretty involved. Um, basically, you're evaporating that target into the air, into the atmosphere inside, it's not air, it's into the atmosphere inside that chamber. And there's a um, charge, so there's a negative and a positive, and basically those, those uh, molecules are being attracted to, this, to the substrate, to the surface of the metal, and they're bonding to it on a almost molecular level. Um, so because of that, if you take your target and you change from titanium, to titanium aluminum, you get titanium aluminum nitride, which looks really cool. It gives you that grayish color that we see on our on our cutting tools. A lot of these will be a lot of these will be titanium aluminum nitride. There'll be a variety of them. With titanium aluminum nitride on cutting tools, you don't want to use it to cut aluminum because it'll actually bond to the cutting tool itself. So you'll use other things like titanium chromium nitride and, and all those. So we want to take that technology and put it on our pens and put it on our knives and make really cool things that you know not many people out there are doing um, that'll kind of make these very all very unique and give you guys hundreds of options of color choices finish like finishes on the buttons different sliders um, yeah so I hope you guys are excited we're really excited about these so yeah let's see, let's see what we can do thanks for watching